Hello and welcome. My name is Daniel Vasilevsky. Today we will be discussing liquidity. You may find yourself pondering, but what is liquidity, Daniel? Well, let me show you. Liquidity is the ability a company has to satisfy its short-term financial obligations. It is important that businesses have the ability to pay its current liabilities as they come due. If a business fails to pay its obligations, additional fees will be incurred and eventually lead to insolvency. As you can see, liquidity is very important to all business stakeholders, including shareholders, employees, employers, and suppliers. This is why it's so important to monitor and analyze a business's liquidity. There are four commonly used ratios to assess a business's liquidity. These are quick, receivables turnover, inventory turnover, and current. Today, we'll be investigating the current ratio. This ratio is actually quite simple. It is just current assets over current liabilities. Now, you may think that you're just watching a pre-recorded video, but I can actually see and hear everything you say and do. And I heard you say, but Daniel, what's the difference between current and non-current assets and liabilities? Well, let me show you. This simply just the time period of an asset or liability. Further, how quickly a business can convert something into cash. Thus, unequivocally, the most current asset is cash, whilst a factory is difficult to convert. Now let's see how this actually works. Here is some inventory, and here is a building. Let's see how long it takes to convert these assets to cash. Well, there we go. The inventory took less than a year, and the building took over five years. Thus, the inventory is categorized as current, and the building as non-current. This same principle is applied to liabilities, such as electricity is considered current, whilst a bank loan is considered a non-current liability. Now let's put this into practice. Here you can see that Myers has $100 of current assets and $81 of current liabilities. Let's see how the ratio is. Well, it's 1.2. I heard you say, but is that a good ratio? Well, let's look at the normal expected ratio. 2 to 1 is the magic number that businesses try to achieve, meaning that they have $2 of current assets to every $1 of current liabilities. But in all industries, there are different averages, as you can see here. Now, thank you for watching my presentation. No, please, stop uploading. It was nothing.